Okay, so a common method you see in the marketing world is people use webinars to generate clients, free webinars. Uh, you'll see, you know, learn the you know, foolproof secret to uh, transforming your X area of life or whatever, uh, or sex area. <laughs> and, and then you attend this webinar and you're supposed to learn uh, some amazing secrets. Oftentimes it ends up being uh, of afterwards you realize, oh, wow, it was basically a, a, a well-designed sales pitch for their, their, their bigger program or whatever. It's so common. Uh, it's common, especially in my industry of marketing training, but it's, it's becoming more over the past 10 years, it's become more and more common in, in many industries. And basically I, I used to do it very well, successfully. Uh, I even had, um, I did it so well that my clients asked me to teach a whole thing on it. And I called it the webinar method. This was from 2010 to 2012. I was known for the webinar method as an online course on how to create uh, high converting webinars. So yeah, I was doing it, you know, 10 plus years ago. And um, it just felt really gross over time. I, uh, my conscience wouldn't let me continue doing it, even though it was very profitable. Um, it's like, you know, I was only concerned about like the one to 5% of attendees or sometimes up to 10% who converted. And I really didn't care about the experience of the other 90 to 99% of people. Like I couldn't care less, like if they felt it was salesy or felt gross. I just cared that, hey, um, you know, Bob just signed up. Congratulations, Bob. I look forward to working with you in the course. Oh, Jane just signed up. Yes. Anyone want to join Bob and Jane? I was really good at it. I was like a salesman, you know? And, um, and it was very profitable. I remember one webinar where I converted $70,000 in one hour. Um, so not a bad day, you know, 70,000 in one hour. So anyway, um, of my own product. And uh, over time, I realized that, wait a second, I was basically burning out the other 90% of people. Like they, they stopped following my stuff. So I had to continually grow my audience, like work so hard to get, more people to join this webinar that they've never attended before over and over and over again. I had to work so hard to get JV partners and others to, to bring new people, to bring new suckers into my experience, which is what marketing marketers do all the time. Now it's like, Oh, I, I attended this thing was so salesy. I won't do that again. Next time you might get suckered again, second or third time. Maybe you'll learn after the fifth time, <laughs> but you eventually like, yeah, there's, there's a, there's gotta be a better experience. So now my recommendation is, um, to think about the 90, to think about the 100% of the people, or I shouldn't say 100%, think about the 80% of the people there, or maybe 60 to 80% of the people to attend who are more likely to be your ideal clients in the long term. Think about them and design a webinar experience that they would go, wow, I loved what you, know, you provided. That was, that was a transformational experience. It wasn't too much. It wasn't overwhelming. And that's where I need to learn. I'm still learning how to make uh, a single session not overwhelming. And I think that's, we can, all of us who care about delivering value tend to need to learn that lesson of how not to overwhelm. But it's like, we can think about how can I make this webinar a spacious experience where they learn something that they couldn't easily learn elsewhere that they couldn't easily learn elsewhere. What of my content, what's something that's surprising to people? What's something that is, aha, wow, you know, really interesting. And then put that content into the webinar and try to build some kind of exercise or breakout room experience so that they, they, they can't come out of it going, wow, I want more of that. And naturally, oh, and it's okay, by the way, to spend about, my recommendation is something like 10% of your webinar, five to 10%. If it's a one hour webinar, you can spend something like six minutes. If it's a two hour webinar, you can spend something like, um, you know, 10, 15 minutes uh, talking about um, your deeper offering. And uh, you, you, can, you can start by saying, for those who are, in, you can even start, you can even mention the deeper offering earlier in the webinar, um, not as a way to like plant a seed, I got to, you know, get ready to be sold kind of thing, but it's more like, 
you can mention it, you know, here and there offhand, just to say, you know, um, in, in my deeper program, we talk about this and I want to introduce that concept to you because I think it's really important and more people should know about it. Right. And then at the end, you could say, for those of you who are interested uh, in learning more about deeper, deeper program, feel free to stay. Um, you might want to ask for feedback about the webinar first, put it in a little feedback form. And then it's like, for those of you who want to stay an extra five minutes, not extra five minutes, the final five minutes, uh, let me share with you what the deeper program is. And you can ask me any questions about it. Um, in fact, any of you who already know about that deeper program, any questions, chat below. But let me just give a quick overview. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, I see a question here about, you know, um, when does it start? Okay, it starts. Uh, yeah. So anyway, just a really quick, uh, yeah, really, really quick thing about um, webinars. And yeah, if you have any other questions or any tips below, feel free to chat below. Um, so I hope this helps.